Recording in progress. Yer. Got it. I must give consent. It makes you say yes. Mm-hmm. Says got it. Mm. I have to give consent to Invisalign. the recording. Everybody and their mama got Invisalign now. Ro- Joe Rogan got Invisalign because uh, Tom Segura got Invisalign. Like, you know, transatter podcast shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Here <laughs> get, first. Here first. My, yeah, get my shit. You know what I'm saying? He he got the same complaints as me. Yeah, you know, I heard you, that. You can hear it and blah blah blah. He had to take it. Out. Joe Rogan had to take it out. You say you're an ambassador. You feel me? Invisalign, send your boy the check, dog. <laughs> let me get that bread, dog. <laughs> They're like, no. Nah, at least let it. me get my bread back, dog. <laughs> or at least the remainder for free, right? Uh, no, I want no? all my, <laughs> all my <laughs> You want it all back, <laughs> yeah. all of it. I've been talking about this shit since I got it on, you know what I'm saying? So. And just nothing but complaining about it. That's why they don't give you the brand deal. <laughs> nah, it's, you're like it sucks. Like they got I got my shit to constantly looking. Remind you know what I'm saying? Got my shit looking all right. You feel me? Way better than what the fuck it was. <laughs> Say that. Yeah. <laughs> Say that. I smile a lot more now. Yeah, I gotta make it worth it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. all the money I spent on this shit, I gotta make it worth it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Speaking of, Dummy Boy just got his braces off today. You know what I'm yep. saying? He about to, uh, you know what I'm saying, do his journey. First first little second yeah. step, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Got to get him off to go boot camp, you know what I'm saying? Uh, get him off. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Had to have the braces removed. <laughs> no, it's good. <kidding. laughs> can I, like, can oh, I get my sponsorship? Brother. I need my sponsorship. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what? blur her shit, yo. Yeah, what? yo, yo. What? Yeah, yo, I, yo. I can't get my no, 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 no. Fuck out of here. Am Why? I getting a cut? I mean, it's for the pod. Am I getting a cut? I mean, yeah, you're part of the pod. Like, you get 10% <laughs> and I get like 90? Whoa, whoa. It's for the pod. No, ninety percent is for the pod. This is going to go you? back into the, you know what I mean? It's, it's 50, <laughs> Go back 50. into your pocket. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, I'll give you ten percent, then I'll just take ninety. They do need but a I'm sponsor. Split that they into do. a thirty seventy thing where I get seventy percent of that ninety. <laughs> I just want free five hour. You can have the money. I just want the five hour. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Just keep just keep the just keep the <laughs> Okay, the let me get tiny let me get the part. No, 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 no. Take your ass to boot camp. You know no, what I'm saying? No, sir. No, 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 Yeah, that's called an investment. <laughs> I can do whatever I want in real life, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just yeah. stacking on money. You still you still got um equity within the company, you know what I'm saying? Don't that worry means about I'm it. I'm not getting no money, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, brother. If we sign a big deal, you got some bread coming, you know what I'm saying? Dang, you're making it seem like I signed a 360 or something. You like did, that. you know what I mean? No, I did Th- not. That's sir. why I'm gonna get part of your check when you go to the military. No, sir, like you're that. not. Whoa. Come straight out of the fucking No, sir. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, as soon sir. as they deposit, you know what I'm saying, just automatically spits. Part of it goes in my bank account, the rest of it goes in yours, you know. Man, you three sixty deal. Out of the world, because I don't know what plan. Three sixty deal. <laughs> anyway, say, like at least ten percent. You know. Speaking of hey, teeth. No. Oh no, I guess I gotta do the intro. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Porta Potty Podcast, <laughs> episode eighty-seven. <laughs> yeah. We almost there, man. We're almost there. Almost the at hundo? two years. To the hundo. Yeah, almost at two years. What's 52 is a year, so 104. So, are we going to do this like this? Do I get to read your letters on the pod? Is that how we're going to communicate? You can say, um, for the for the pod, and then um, I read that little blurb. No? You're just going to say, I'm, I'll worry about y'all when I get back. Damn, abandoning the pod is crazy. You're holding back the pod, bro. Can't hold back the pod. Yeah, I'll hold back the pod. Mm. Damn, you got to write an excerpt in your little letter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, y'all tell the shitheads I said, what up, dog? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here shitting in the porta potties for real. <laughs> we all saw you. We all saw Outside. Outside. Yeah. Outside, sweaty balls. You heard? <laughs> My balls was hot. Yeah. Speaking of fucking teeth, did you know that you could regrow teeth? I did not until you sent me something about it. I was like, that. How, what? How? Mm. Yeah, and, I don't believe um, that. I kind of, I, I kind of had done some research, like um, on 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 that shit. Not not like regrowing teeth, but like, I mean, I guess it's the same thing. I let this bitch um, 
kind of explain the shit Jesus before Christ. I fuck it she up. Just talks different. See, that's that's the. <laughs> I talk different. You know what I'm saying? I talk different. This p word. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that bitch. I talk different. You are right? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Uh, muted. Uh, but I just did a little. Right. So I don't know if you guys have seen this in the news, but I just did a little research on it, and y'all, there is a new drug to regenerate Jeez. lost teeth. Literally every toothless person's dream. So there is a research Name team up. in Japan that is going <laughs> through all the tr- all the trials and researching this medication um, that may allow people to grow new teeth. And they're going to set clinical trials on humans in July of 2024. They're hoping to have this ready in 2030, which is a few years away, obviously. But if they can make this happen, like, what? So the guy working on this is Katsu Takahashi. He is the lead researcher and head of the dentistry and oral surgery department at the Medical Research Institute of Kitano Hospital in the city of Osaka. Um, And here's a photo where they have, like, successfully regrown a a tooth. Low-key, if that was my city, I would name it Osaka, too. Yeah, you're... (laughs) Like, what? And this is another photo of the front teeth of a ferret. That, that looks like Zoe's mouth. <laughs> Obviously, it's only on animals right now for the trials, but this is like groundbreaking. This could literally rewrite the whole field of dentistry. So, yeah, animals including yeah I would say, fuck you guys. <laughs> fuck you guys. We don't need a root canal, bitch. I'll just take this medicine and regrow my shit. And some reptiles. All species can continuously regrow teeth. This is- I always thought about that shit too, right? You only we're supposed to be such an advanced race of fucking people and shit, or just you know, being, and you know what I'm saying like, uh, what like uh, sharks and fucking uh, just all kind of other animals and shit like lose teeth that grow it right back. We only get one, two. one, two technically. Like I'm saying, like one. Yeah. You get the baby teeth, they automatically fall out. You can't keep those. Yeah. So it ain't it ain't no option. You only get really one. Those are like practice joints. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they, they're going to go away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So these are like practice joints to not fuck up the, 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 <laughs> the real, real ones. ones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And sometimes the practice joints fuck up the real ones anyway. Mm-hmm. Very true. And then you don't get no more. It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I mean, but there is an alternative, which is kind of like, replicating your teeth it's called veneers duh but who the fuck wants to go through that when you could just be like a like just put reptile dna in me or like uh you know what i'm saying all right let me go fuck a shark he want a reptile inside him hey yo (laughs) relax bro why can't humans like seriously it's been assumed that humans only grow two sets of teeth in their lifetime but in fact there's evidence that we also have the buds for a third set we have the availability for a third set, but they don't grow. What kind of retarded shit is that? What? Obviously, there's so exactly. much more to read in the article. There's, like, so much more information, a lot of sciencey terms I know nothing about. But if this... Ex- Yo, why her titties on her stomach, though? Like, ain't they supposed to be... Anyway. You're right, looking all the way there. down I mean, there. I'm just... Her looking at, shirt like, is literally... Bro, I'm literally looking up. at the timeline to see how much is Cap. left. Uh, and then I'm like... Her titties are supposed to be in there, mind. Just Ground whatever. Like a game changer the time. Like, in the field of Brown. dentistry and for people who are toothless and are struggling. And, and I mean, can you imagine all the people that are toothless right now and can't afford dental insurance? <laughs> Do you have expensive things? I really don't like to imagine all the people that are toothless, but yeah, she's right. Like, if you want to I'm, talk about looking at her, what what does she have coming out of her shirt? I'm sorry. Now you had me looking. Like, <laughs> but like, she has like these antenna things coming out. What is that? It's a tattoo. But what is it? Oh. Now I want to know what it is because it looks like she has like weeds growing out of the side. Go to her, go to her page. Sorry, squirrel squirrel moments. If I had to guess on the archetype that's in front of me, uh, it's probably a zodiac sign. (laughs) Maybe it's a deer. Sure, that this medication would be insanely they hear expensive this thing though. Of course, of course, they're going to make it expensive. But yes, this, if they it will be get, insanely like, expensive, bro. Yeah, the human public, like. I want to know the side amazing. effects. Um, anyways, Let, yeah. Make your wiener so fall off and you turn into <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney. Go ahead and put this here for you guys. You can um, get a sponsorship from Bud Light. Further information and inquiries 
about his research right here. All right. I mean, I guess we're good. They're going to be like. I, I want to the side effect. Like, what else is going to grow? No, nah, they're going to be like, you can get brand new teeth, but the side, the side effects are you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have cancer. You're going to have um, <laughs> blood clots in yourself. No, it's uh, going to be that fucking, uh, the commercials and shit that come on. Mm-hmm. This slow it might cause depression. If it causes depression within the first 48 of, days. Lots of kidney function. <laughs> lots of liver function. Your, lots your of, pussy's going to be dry. Your <laughs> asshole's going to suck in. <laughs> loss of all five hey, senses. That's a, that's a suicide. Hey, yo, what what if it fuck? made you lose all five senses? <laughs> now you're just fuck dead. them teeth, bro. Because it don't <laughs> yeah. even matter at that point. What like? If I can't see and hear, well, I, mean, I can barely hear right now. now you're but if dead. I can't see and hear, like, right, you if can't. you had to give up one sense, what it would be? Taste. Um, a penny. <laughs> you <stupid>, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people don't think outside of the box you know what i mean they say one dimensional i think 3d oh, and i just sudden. hit my wrist on the bar <laughs> that was a 2d that was a 2d action right there. taste for me that's easy taste taste you taste is easy for you i think i, like, I could give it up it was Dude. weird to lose my smell but i, I think i'll be cool with that i want to know if my house is burning well, Can't yeah, there's smoke? that. <laughs> but then we got to use smoke detectors, so. And if they are faulty, they go out. You didn't put the batteries in them, like. Well, you can't see it. Uh, I'm just saying, you're driving your car. There's no smoke detector in your car. I know, but if you smell like shit, then I'm not gonna smell it. If you smell like shit, you're not gonna smell it. I mean, I so? think I think you. Would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gotta deal with it. No, <laughs> when because you- when I had no taste during the whole uh, world hurt stuff. I, I didn't want to overeat. Like I just, I ate till I was full, and then I was done. Like you keep you overeat because you like the way something tastes or whatever, and so you just keep eating, right? But well, life would suck without taste, bro. Yeah. Right? If I could not taste like my enchiladas, that would be so depressing. <laughs> I'm just chomping on whatever. <laughs> Can you hand me so, a soda. Uh, but you could like shoot tequila shots, and you'd be straight. Soda. I know. Oh, relax. <laughs> oh wow. What? You know what I mean? Like. Uh. Nah, I mean, no, because then you would get extremely fucked up because then you're not thinking about, like, oh, I got to chill because, like, that was, like, <laughs> nah. you know. just be oh. shooting shots and all of a sudden you're just on the so ground. So you're giving up smell. Yeah, I, I would give up smell because you can't give up hearing because you got to hear shit. You can give up feeling. And I, I'm not giving up seeing because, I mean, then what's the point, too? You know what I mean? And then Touch. what about feeling? Taste. I already said that one. And then, yeah, touch. Like, I can give a touch. <laughs> Shoot, something poke you? No, it's not. Like, how do you man. Let, know that you're, like, lifting something or gra- holding something? Like, Yeah. You, you just got to trust anything. it. You can have those little wrap things, and it mm. extra secures your hand. I got to have faith. You got to believe in Jesus. Right? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus got, Christ. Jesus got my Jesus wrist Christ. on lock. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dang, that sucks. You, you, Jesus you, Christ. We got to get him on the pod. Jesus Christ. Wait, do you... F- well, no, nah, that would have been a dumb question. I was going to say, do you feel the cracking of your bones or do you hear it? But obviously well, you feel it. Yeah, you feel it. So you, you could break it. a fucking leg and like, not, not even feel it. I mean, until you start to collapse, but you don't... I mean, it, it the, could low-key be good. Like, my back be hurting and shit. Like... I wouldn't feel that shit no more. But that could low trying. key be a thing. You know what I'm saying? But then I fucking stub my toe, then, and like, then my like, whole fucking toe is this oh, way. Jesus. Who did that in the UFC? Oh, <laughs> shit. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but then that would Bro. also take away, like, somebody comes up and gives you a hug. You, you can't feel that. I mean, like, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> no, you do. I, I don't think you're numb. But Yeah, like, you're numb. Like, no, I'm the, saying, like, you, you still can hug them, but you just. Wait, How can you hug that. them? You can't even feel. It, you would basically be like a uh, robot, quadriplegic. Huh? No, you're not paralyzed. You could still move. You just can't feel the sensation of touch. Yeah, I bump into a lot of walls and kick a lot of like bed corners. And <laughs> but I was gonna say, you stump your toe, you I was gonna it. say, if your back's hurt and and then you couldn't feel it, you are gonna try to do some extra stuff that you ain't supposed <laughs> to do, like. Let's say yeah. one day. Let's yeah. say one day you're like, man, I'm gonna try a backflip. I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna try to hit that backflip, and then you go. 
<laughs> and then fall straight to the floor. Move the mic up a little bit. There you go. You're going to fall straight to the floor and land on your head. <laughs> but you ain't going to feel that, though. You're just going to go unconscious. <laughs> you're going to wake up. Straight like, to Mimi's. Huh. What happened? And they, y'all are there staring at me like, holy shit. <laughs> He's alive. What happened to my finger? <laughs> like, bro, where's my brain? <laughs> Like, honey, you lost that a long time ago. So, Dang. now you're just a head in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can't even feel it, and you can't even think about it. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Smell for me. I'm good with that one. Touch. Oh. I got it. Touch. Touch. Taste. Touch. Touch, taste. All right. I just yeah. look at the controller and just push, 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 push. So, apparently, over... Last weekend or wherever, whenever it was, uh, a, a lot of people lost all their senses and uh, went on a uh, boxing spree. <laughs> you hear about this, uh, I guess the white man said the N-word and threatened to go get a gun and told the... <laughs> Is this the one from Alabama? Yeah. Alabama. I didn't know he said the N-word and threatened to get a gun. I've been seeing uh, just the... Was it the Alabama brawl? Well, I mean, it They've is Alabama. With, oh, I'm sorry. Is we it, know what happens at Alabama. Is it going to fucking load up or what the fuck? Bro, there's like beginning to end video on this shit. So like, wow. From a bunch of different angles. Wow. Oh, I don't think I've seen the beginning to end. I think I've seen like when it started and then like it cut off in the middle of the fight. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> So they just they just went but oh my lord. Welcome back to the Porter Potty Podcast. <laughs> so Bruh. they just big ass brawl. Everybody just yeah, starts swinging. Ass. Yeah, it's not loading up this first. I one. mean, from what it seems it. like it like he kind of deserved that low key. It was uh, I mean, like, <laughs> if I could ever play the goddamn video, it would uh help some. Uh, but uh I think we just got to explain what happened. So, homeboy threw a right fist, and then white dude tried to throw, and he just got s- And, just and it's like guys and home. girls, because that looks like a chick right there. Yeah, it is. Wow. Look, this is the original one right here. Homeboy throws his hat like Bobby Schmurder. Bado, we go, go, we go, go. Fuck with us, you know, we can go. <laughs> Mm. And see, they jumped the fuck out of them. They start all the white people ran up, started kicking them, jumping the fuck out of them. Because they can't do respectful one on ones, they can't fight. But I'm saying, you see, homeboy run down like he trying to break it up, and they still trying to jump him. He just trying to break it up, right? He trying to break it up. He ain't hit nobody. Somebody jumped off the boat to go swim up there to try to help. <laughs> You got Aquaman to save you. And okay, so by now it's like broke up, you know what I'm saying? They think everything good and boys finna like just split up and like, yeah, y'all got me, whatever. Oh, heck no, way into the homies. You know what I'm saying? We about to jump the mess out of (laughs) Bro, she, she went live like a bitch, right? You those see are, all those little heart emojis and like it's <laughs> <laughs> mad people on that bitch, on Facebook watching this shit. Yeah, those are cruise boats, right? Uh, uh, the big kinda, boats. Yeah, well, not a cruise boat. That shit is like a like a passenger boat that would like go up and down this shit. They're I'm probably not, taking like a tour type shit. I want to be on one of those boats. I've never been on one. It's all right. I mean, it'd be mad people on there and, like, yeah. So it's not really, like, the best. But it's cool. We did one in Seattle when we went to Seattle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh oh, they coming off the boat to slide. What's up? Bop, boop, bop, boop, bop. Boop. Boop, bop. She narrating like a mother. Wee! <laughs> Damn, homeboy got spears. <laughs> you see him? Round one. Ding, ding, ding. Goldberg popped out of nowhere. <laughs> nah, this is a WWE match. Check him out. He come from right here. Slide. Uh, and his salmon. <laughs> his salmon shorts. <laughs> Bro, 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 that bitch getting drugged. You see her? Shit. The little bitch in the till. Look at this other bitch getting dragged. Look, 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 look. Threw her in the water. That's stage for That's out of bounds. You can't return from the fight anymore. You got to throw off the map. Yo, they bagging up now. Bop, boop, bop, boop, bop. Hey, look, check it out. These dudes in the blue, though, they're, they're like security. They're part of fucking. <laughs> and they're swinging on them? Yeah, they're part of the fucking security shit. So, like, half of these fools out there are, like, dock security people. <laughs> they said, no way am I going to pass this opportunity up. <laughs> I'm swinging on one yeah. of these white people. They said, Black folks unite. <laughs> Retributions, bitch. Shoot. I mean, maybe if I saw this, bro, I might draw, throw an elbow in there. <laughs> boop, bop, boop, bop. <laughs> the girl's like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> now nah, she got a soundboard, too. Look at the laws. There's one, two, three laws right there, and they're just kind of like watching. Like, what, what are all three? They got front row. Look at 50 people. Front row. It's there was another fight on the other end. All right, here we go. Just make the content free. This is the third portion of the fight. Ooh, pop! Shit, that white dude thought he was on some, huh? Bitch, boom, he tried to slide him. You see him? He tried to sneak up on him. Even though it was choppy, I see. He tried to he tried to sneak up on him. Look, look, I'm not doing that. Boop, boop. And then it fell. Wait, why he hit? tried to gouge his eyes out. You see this? Why he try to hit one of his mans though? Bro, he tried to gouge his eyes out. That black dude was like, fuck you. <laughs> he started poking his eyes with both thumbs. Oh shit! Ah, oh, my eye! <laughs> Look, and the wife is trying to help. She's right there in the, in the like pink or orange or whatever. So. Boop pop, boop pop. This <laughs> bitch comes slide on that hoe. How embarrassing! Guys. Boom! Now they jumping that hoe. Jumping the girl? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no. <laughs> Bro, they beat her ass, bro. <laughs> now, homeboy, with a steel chair! <laughs> Mace came out the blue with a chair, bro. This ain't a fucking uh, no holds bar <laughs> match, you know what I'm saying? You gotta hit the, oh my god! <laughs> he pulled up the fucking, uh, the, the shit on the ring yeah. <laughs> and started sliding tools out and shit. Watch. <laughs> Bam, nigga. Uh, this? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That adds 50. Oh, shit, he hit the more. bitch with it, too. <laughs> I ain't see that one, bro. I did not see that one. Damn, what the fuck is wrong with this site, bro? My, my <laughs> Wi-Fi is tripping. Nah, that, that guy Look, hit her with the steel chair. So did you see started it? started lagging. Did you see it? Nah, it was choppy. Bro, right here. Wow! Oh! <laughs> It's the big show. She's sitting on the ground like that. <laughs> She's actually acting like one of them WWE characters. When they get hit with a special move and they roll on the floor. Yo, that shit is so crazy, bro. Look at this shit. One more time. Bow, bitch. <laughs> Jesus, bro. And that's for great granny, motherfucker. You ever been hit with a steel chair? I bet that's painful. Oh. Shit, bro! I gotta do it one more time. Get fucking. 
<laughs> he probably broke that bitch neck. He getting arrested now. Oh, you went too far. You hit the white woman with the chair. <laughs> You're like, we don't give a fuck about you hitting these fucking white people with the chair. You hit the white woman with the chair. Are these black cops? Both of them are black cops, huh? Uh, there's one white cop. You ain't got to do all that. Homeboy just like super assaulted everybody with a chair. <laughs> he cleared that whole bitch out. Bing, bow, bing. bow, bow. And you too, bitch. Bow. <laughs> he said, say another word yeah. to my mama. Well, of course you're going to jail, bro. They were just going to let y'all go home, you know, a little scrappy dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my mama. Well, you had to word. pull the fucking steel chair out, bro. That's ding, 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 ding. Matches over. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Disqualification. <laughs> but you know the mask still continues even after the battle. <laughs> this shit went crazy. Too well. Mm. Oh, they were talking about the people that they kicked into the water. This shit is crazy, bro. Like, but, like, you know how easy that fight is, though? Because usually if you're in a fight like that, it's hard to tell who's on your team or not because you're just swinging. But you got blacks you got on one jerseys. side yeah. and then you got whites on this side. You know who to hit. Yeah, for sure. No, I think I even seen a uh, homeboy with the chair had hit one of the black dudes <laughs> trying to hit the white dude. Oh, Jesus, my bad. Yeah, nah, that. let... let uh, Charleston White be up in there, bro. He would have pulled that pepper spray <laughs> out so fast. <laughs> Graffiti, everybody. Graffiti. Face <laughs> I swear. Graffiti, everybody was crazy, bro. Bro, that's his ultimate weapon. He'd be like, don't try me, bro. <laughs> don't try me. He'd be looking like he tried to grab the grip, but nope, it's a pepper spray. Yeah, but by the way, by the way, homeboy uh, got jumped in the beginning. All the rest of that shit was deserved. You know what I'm saying? Like, you... You jump, You thought you had you one, you know what I'm saying? You jumped the fuck out of dude because he was out here by himself, you know what I'm saying? Y'all thought y'all had y'all and one. And then they try to run away. That's and then the so homies crazy. pull up. <laughs> the car load of homies pull up. They all hop heard, off the boat like, what's cracking? Let's get it cracking. All they heard was, do, 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 do. Yeah, they trying to hop on their boat. And, <laughs> <laughs> Peter, start the boat. <laughs> Unite! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then... Yeah, bro, like, I wanted to talk about this with uh, your mom here because, like, yeah, she be trying to involve herself in, in the – that's why I be telling her, like, just stay back, bro. Like, if I'm getting my ass whooped, like, I don't pull the gun out or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, Just stand in the <laughs> in corner GTA. with the gun like this, in and GTA, whoever yeah. comes to you, just pull it. <laughs> yeah, right? Nah, but uh, they was beating the shit out to females and everything. Like, <laughs> it was okay when the women was – you know what I mean? Because none of the dudes put their hands on uh, the females I didn't see. Mm-hmm. But then homeboy came with the chair. Skadoosh, skadoosh, skadoosh. Ah, he hit her with a big one, too. <laughs> Bow, bitch, it's right like in the he... center of that bitch. <laughs> Bow. It's like he's playing uh, whack-a-mole. Or what, yeah, what's for, that for real. <laughs> and she was like... <laughs> I'm like yo this shit could not be real bro this is comedy bro like what the fuck eggs nah bro, <laughs> what, bro you just... do... what you doing what you doing you doing the same I shit I told you I'm going where you remember the first uh, camera woman was at I'm getting at the top ropes I'm getting on top on the uh, metal bar jumping from there people's elbow to the ground <laughs> How many white people are right there? I'm elbowing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what uh, <laughs> let's see what the police had to say. I haven't seen this video yet. <laughs> They're like, they had a well deserved win. <laughs> two the river cruise ship was fully operational, operating from a designated docking space along the river. The Harriet takes passengers on two-hour tours up and along the Alabama River throughout the day. On this day, there were 227 passengers 
aboard that vessel. Lucky you didn't get your ass whooped by 227. Bro, 200 would have been. The Harrier 2 vessel and a private boat owner and his family. As the Harriet attempted to dock in its designated space, designated and reserved due to the gangway access as well as the mooring requirements, the private boat was docked in its space. Oh, so it was illegally parked for sure, for sure. Of the, Harriet. the captain of the Harriet remained away from the dock for nearly 40 to 45 minutes Jeez. as he attempted to contact the operators of the private boat via PA system. They were only responded to with obscene gestures, curse words, and taunting. Hmm. The co-captain was then picked up by a separate vessel and brought to the pier in an attempt to have a conversation with the private boat owners and or have those boats move so that the Harriet could dock. A confrontation ensued between the co-captain and Mr. Pickett, the co-captain, being attacked by several members of the private boat. Oh, the co-captain was the dude was getting jumped. Several members Not the of the Harriet too came to Mr. Pickett's defense, engaging in what we all have seen since on social media. Thirteen individuals were detained and brought to police headquarters Damn. for questioning and interviews. Those interviews lasted several hours. At that time, all parties involved were released pending further investigation, mm. but were all given instructions on how to secure warrants on the combatants. Nobody we got have charged. Since consulted with and are continuing to work with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, our state police agency the Montgomery DA's office, and the local office of the FBI. Oh, the main guy got charged with third degree. This investigation is ongoing, assault. and more charges are likely. As it relates to racial epithets and, and conversation and, and, um, and names being called, while the Harry was still uh, out in the water, there was a lot of, uh, I've seen finger gestures and, and comments and uh, innuendos made uh, at a distance. Of course, when the co-captain approached, there was, that continued. Uh, but again, working with the, the local FBI, we did uh, examine if there was enough to uh, file hate crimes charges on this case. And again, we, we rely heavily on the advice from the FBI. Uh, we've also looked at uh, you know, what it takes to elevate this to a riot, or uh, inciting a riot. Damn. We've worked with our local district attorney, and it didn't fit the criteria for that. So the charges that we have pending on the South Third uh, at this time are appropriate charges for what we've seen and the behavior that we've seen on uh, on social media. Yeah, so, damn, getting the FBI involved is crazy. <laughs> but no, he said the captain of the boat came up and then, like, the co-captain of the other one came up. And right. so the captain was trying to meet the co-captain, and then the whole thing escalated from there. <laughs> but that that's... <sighs> that's probably why they jumped in. They were like, oh, heck no, y'all jumping our captain? You got to see like this. The and leader and of the team. I'll just cut this out. I'll cut this part out, but I got to play this again. Well, you can come see it because I don't know if it's going to play good or anything. Hold on. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Oh! Wow. Sorry. Sorry I had to step away for a second. Bruh. <sighs> Man. Hey, they out there like. <laughs> squ- squabble. They, they thought it was tough squabble. at first. The whole squad dropping. <laughs> Help! Yeah. Help! But basically, he was talking about how you would involve yourself in his altercations. Yeah, and, and I'll just be like, uh, stay the fuck over there because yeah. type shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But you can actually fight. Them white girls definitely couldn't fight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You could tell. As soon as they were getting touched, they was falling on the ground. And, and you got to be smart about it, too, because... Uh, hold on. But none of the dudes hit the bitches, I don't think. I didn't, I didn't see one dude hit a chick. Ain't that kind of like, bro, bro, I don't know. You got to be smart, too. Like, um, if you're going to jump into a big brawl, you don't want to be right smack in the middle of it either. Like, 
Oh, yeah. You kind of stay on the outskirts That's of it like, so you can, like, pick them off. Like, it's <laughs> like a mosh you pit. Ju- yeah, you don't want to jump in the middle of the mosh pit if, yeah. like, if you're not trying to get messed up. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you ain't trying to I'm get elbowed, saying. uppercut. Yeah, because, like, what he's talking about, there'd be big brawls in the clubs or whatever, and I would just see all my – all everybody I know is in this brawl, and, you know, of course, I'm not going to just sit there. So. Now sit your ass over there so and I let just, me I know who the, slid me. I'd be on the, <laughs> see, the beautiful thing about Imagine. when we were uh, growing up – is there wasn't like video footage like how you guys just pull mm, out your cell phone and start videotaping? And y'all didn't have color too, so. kind of. So, the sir, fuck we had television. Color. Y'all yes. didn't have color. Yes, no. We did. Y'all were yes. watching people with the hats, and then y'all were watching tip toe tap dancers. <laughs> Anywho, well, yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. Like, I just. Uh, yeah. uh, when you see the first one, it's like it's fucked up. Still, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're like. Uh, jumping dude or whatever. But then, can you really blame them that they fucking jump off the boat and come over there no. and, like, beat the fuck out of them? No. And it wasn't even the same thing because they beat the fuck out of one dude. Yes. The, all them white boys jumped on that one dude. They, they came like, and jumped on all of them. Yeah, they came and jumped on all them. All fools, of them. You know yeah, what I'm dude. We just got you. <laughs> and they just they just chose not to like jump out at the same time, like to square up at the same time. They wanted to come off one at a time. Well, yeah. I mean... I, that just wasn't smart. Pulse. <laughs> they should have drove that boat. Honestly, they should have yeah, been like, just, just drive away. There's that's way what I was saying. Many. There is way too Tyler, many. Tyler, drive the boat. <laughs> drive the boat. Uh, uh, uh. Ride the waves. Catch the waves. <laughs> I don't know what the white boy was thinking about running real fast as he could. The spear duty speared his ass, and then he just like, got stomped out. <laughs> See? <laughs> You that was stupid. If you guys spear somebody, I'm telling you, you, you spear somebody. You them off the dock. Like. Uh, right. Yeah, I guess. But if I spear somebody, I'm immediately getting up like, spear. <laughs> I swear. I'm here. I swear. I don't care what the consequences are. Yeah. I don't care about the consequences or anything. I have to hit them. <laughs> Especially if it's being recorded. That's yeah. live. That's real Three life. different angles. Yeah. My, no, my favorite is the chair. My favorite is the chair. I'm getting like, mean. Just, bow. Bow. <laughs> They're going to be like moment before disaster or something. And it's going to be like this. <laughs> Spear! There's a dummy boy in the background. My man was in the moment. He was having too much fun smacking motherfuckers in the head with that chair. Bro. That lady was just sitting against that he pole. He was like, like ooh, ah. prime real estate. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> what WWE move you wish you could have hit somebody in the fight? I got to do the stunner, bro. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. What about a frog splash from the table? It just uh. no. You know when uh, uh, the Rock would uh, like grab him and then slam him to the ground before he oh, did yeah, the people yeah. elbow. Probably that. I think I have done that before. Actually, mm. I want to like <laughs> certain people, like, like not just a random person, but like certain people. You just grab them from the top of the cage and then jump down. I don't know what you would call that move, but yeah, I'd love to do that to a couple people. Tombstone power drive somebody. You know yeah, what I, mean? I was about to say, what about the power <laughs> drive? The- <laughs> <laughs> or power bomb them here <laughs> on top, uh, bitch. Well, uh, or F fifty uh, something, or what, is it F fifty or F five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, hit that. I land on the table and the table breaks. Yeah, legendary. Hell no. Nah. Tell you, bro. All right. <laughs> Let's go to this next topic. All right. So, my man Neo jumped out the window and uh, said some shit about um, the LGBT <laughs> uh, people's, you know what I'm saying? GPS. And uh, let's see if I can find the clip. Wait, GPS? What is that? LGBT. Oh. <laughs> QRS, LMNOP. I don't know. No, that's crazy. All right, so right. this. Love who you love, do what you do. Exactly. This was uh, on Vlad, I guess. What it looks like. I this. have no issue with, with the LBGT. I have no problem with none of with nobody. Right. Love who you love, do what you do. Exactly. I just personally come from an era where a man was a man and a woman was a woman, and it wasn't but two genders, and that's just how I rock. Me now, too. It, 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 you, could, you could identify as a goldfish if you feel. Right. I, <laughs> I agree. That ain't my business. It, just, it becomes my business when you try to make me play the game with you. I'm not going to call you a goldfish, but exactly. you want to be a goldfish, you go be a goldfish. It's Amen. I mean, that's it's, it's just... We live in a weird time, man. We, we do. do. We, we do. live in a time where a person will have a mental breakdown in front of their camera. Right. Wait, let me let me white balance. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> let me white balance. What the hell is that? <laughs> like, if you if you are of sound mind enough to find the light, 
Right. <laughs> And exactly. Then break exactly. Down. exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Right. Man. No, there is something wrong with well, you. Wrong with you. <laughs> All right. So his his comments about you know identify as goldfish. Da da da. They took that as uh, transphobic, and uh, apparently his uh, publicists and shit put out a statement saying like an apology and shit. Like uh, you know I spoke wrong. Blah blah blah. And um, the next day, Neo did this. Double down oh, on no. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. See, oh, black shit. and white. What did I tell you? All right, listen. What's going on, loved ones? This is Neo. All right, listen. I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think, about what I do, or what y'all have to say about what I say, whatever. I normally don't care because, like I said, opinions ain't special. Everybody got one. However, this is something I feel very strongly on, and I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth, not the publicist's computer. So check this out. First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. Talk your shit. I'm a 43-year-old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my <laughs> reality. Now, if my opinion offended somebody, yeah, sure, I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. However, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I'm absolutely entitled to feel how I feel the same way you are entitled to feel how you feel. I ain't asked nobody to follow me. I ain't asked nobody to agree with me. I was asked a question, and I answered the damn question, okay? I have no beef with the LBGTQIA plus community whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. Do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Do what you want to do with your kids. However... Somebody asked my opinion on this matter, and this is how I feel. I will never be okay Makes with sense. allowing a child to make a decision <laughs> that detrimental to their life. I will never be okay with that. I don't. I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter. However, I doubt that there's any book anywhere or any opinion that somebody's going to tell me that's going to make me okay with letting a child make a decision like that. That's just period, point blank, and that's how I feel. If I get canceled for this, then you know what? Maybe this is a world where they don't need a Neo no more, all right? And I got no problem with that. I'm a hustler, all right? I'll figure it out. I got kids to raise, mm. and I'm going to do that regardless. Stand so, on your shit. Said, Y'all have a good day. I love everybody. Live how you want to live. Love how you want to love. But your opinion is yours. Speak your opinion as much as you damn well feel like it. Because as I said, they're not important. They're not special. Everybody got one, and you're entitled to it. I'm- Talk your shit. Yeah, uh, I hey. agree. I, I ain't see nothing wrong with it. I actually respect it more that he came back and said, eh, fuck that publicist shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here's me in real life. Yeah. On camera, you know what I'm saying, D- live and direct, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't like what the fuck I'm saying, and maybe if y'all going to cancel me, they can't maybe this me. is a world that don't need a Neo in it no more. And everybody's so scared of this cancel culture and getting canceled, it's ridiculous. It needs motherfuckers like that to stand yes. up and say, nah, this is enough. Yeah. I can have a fucking opinion, bro. If, if you can walk around and, and feel so convicted in what you believe, so can I. Right. So can I. And it's okay for us to agree to disagree. Yeah. That's fine. okay. Perfectly fine. Yeah. No, it feels like two worlds, like the social media world and then the real life world where you get different answers and like genuine answers. That's I a guess, fact. Because they're not viewed by like 70,000 people at right. once. It's more like there's 10 people around there like, okay, let's share secrets, guys. But see, and this is all, yeah. I was thinking this shit too, especially like with news and shit like that, like uh, news media, like regular TV and shit like that. On the news or whatever, like he's saying, like the ten people. If if somebody says something, you know, and then it's magnified by uh, going mainstream media, and then they start blasting Neo on all these different channels or whatever the fuck. This is a handful of people, and it looks like it's everybody coming down on him. But in all actuality, it's just like probably blown up that yeah. you know to look that big when people really probably agree with them but are too scared to say like i agree with him Mm -hmm. but you also gotta know that you're playing the double-edged sword that like yes it is your opinion you can voice your opinion but you are also letting other people view your opinion so they can have a say so of what you say it's just do you but if they if they can have a say so like he should be able to have a say Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody said that. I mean, he could rebut all he wants, but but you shouldn't you know. be canceled for no shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's unless what I'm saying. Like, you say what you want to say on your platform. Let me say what I want to say on my platform, and it is what it is. You shouldn't be. We're gonna shut your platform down because you said something I don't agree with. Unless it was on some shit like, uh, you know, you should go uh, unalive. Those yeah. people and yeah. like you know what I'm saying like he's rallying motherfuckers to go do some shit or some shit like that like then then yeah shut him down you know what I'm saying he 
he can't be spreading rhetoric and doing shit like this. Like that's what that's not cool. It? But uh, to have an opinion on some shit, inciting whatever, inciting right. But to have an opinion on some shit is like, <clears throat> who the fuck gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? This is, yeah, he has a lot of fans, but you you you're gonna go after him because he has a lot of fans. And he, it's he not like he was talking down on them either. He was right. just saying, like, if he that's how saying. you feel, then fine. Yeah. They just I mean, it was a little condescending, but. Not really, though, because you got it's people. It's a joke. Who gives have, a but, fuck? No, because you have people now that are saying they're cats, and so they would need a kid or li- kitty litter box in the bathroom at this school. Right. You know, so it's but not But you're saying, far-fetched. like, you identify as a goldfish. I'm not going to identify as a goldfish because that's not the world that I live in. You know what I'm saying? The world that I live in has two genders, which it does. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just got through, uh, like, um, <clears throat> I was listening to uh, Joe Rogan today, and uh, Tim Dillon was on there. And Tim Dillon is an openly gay guy, you know what I'm saying? He he talks politics, but he's a comedian, you know what I'm saying? But he's, like, super duper over the top and, like, uh, you know, uh, just out, out, like, outright no says shit. He don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? He just don't no give a fuck. No filter, you know what I'm saying? And, um what's called he he's he like i said he's openly gay but he don't act gay he just he's if you didn't know that he was gay like you wouldn't know Mm -hmm. and uh he was like you know i feel like gay people that are my age or older he was like we don't give a fuck about people knowing that we're fucking (laughs) gay or wanting to like parade that shit around or give it give a fucking And, and and like i'm like where did where did it change from where like they were fighting just for it to be like, you know, with a partner, you know what I'm saying? And now it's like a whole fucking thing where it's like, let's all come together and fucking. Like I've even, I've even heard some, some of the older, like you're saying it's cause it's the older ones, the older gay or lesbian um, people say like, we didn't ask for this rainbow flag. I have an American flag. I'm an American. I'd rather hang the American flag, you know, or whatever. And they're just like, we didn't ask for all this extra. We just wanted the same equal. We wanted to marry our partner. We wanted to be able to be, open about who we were and so he was saying like uh we we're i'm not about like showing like teaching a kid in school like you know there's there here's the boys line and here's the girls line and if you're other then you can come over here he was like we i, I ain't trying i'm not for that he was like you, you know they're too impressionable you shouldn't be forcing that shit down their throat you know it's, it's one or the other he was like but guess what he was like if you're gay you're gonna know you're gay he was like, I knew I was gay. He was like, nobody had to show me. I knew I was gay. He was like, but, you know, and then, then you figure it out or whatever the fuck. Nobody has to nurture, like. Yeah, groom you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wait, and it's not about gay, gay. I'm just saying, like, the whole yeah. encompassing thing. You know what I'm saying? What What did you have to say? Like, nobody, like, he didn't see anything. And then, like, he just walked around normally and was like, Oh, I feel like I'm gay right now. Well, they know they know they're gay or they're lesbian because they're attracted to that. They they just know they know that. Well, yeah, nobody. He's, this he's dude over here nobody. looks scrumptious, and that girl over there is like like all girls over there are just like I'm not interested in that. But that dude, you know, like so you just you. Just so know. in that interview, Neo was like, uh, you know, if my son came to me and he wanted to play with Barbies and he thought he was uh, like a girl or whatever the fuck, he was like. I wouldn't tell him like, okay, then you're a girl. Like, let's play with Barbies. He would be like, you're a boy. But you can play with these Barbies if you want to, but you're a boy. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, not, not like, be all the way like, no, you can't do that shit. Like, go no, ahead, bro. Here's this football. Take, take this G.I. Joe <laughs> and, and go fuck the Barbie over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make them fuck each other. No, no. And action. <laughs> and do, do the shit. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. uh, he, you know. I don't think it's, it, it's like people don't have a problem with this shit, bro. Like. Of course, like, coming up, there's, like, uh, stereotypes. There's stereotypes about a lot of shit. There's, there, and, and you're ignorant when you're younger and, you know, saying shit like that. So it's like you think, like, oh, this person's gay. All they're going to do is try to fucking fuck me. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers might not even be a fucking attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just because you're the same sex as them and they like the same sex, that doesn't mean that they're off yeah. top attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, you know, mm-hmm. they, of course, like I said, there's a lot of stereotypes and there's a lot of people that think that way and, you know what I'm saying, move that way and shit like that. But as you go uh, on time and being educated and shit like that, people grow out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't feel like every, 
you know, we 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 keep this. This is like a reoccurring thing because they keep fucking pushing this shit in, yeah. in every commercial and every fucking TV show, and like you can't. You can't not watch something and it doesn't have something involved like in that. It didn't used it, to be that. And if you're going to put it in everything, you want everybody to talk about it, you're going to hear different opinions. You can't force right. everybody to just, just say, oh, okay, here's the line. Let me get in it and just right. everything move along. Like, right. If you want to be that. you, you be you. Live your life to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to live that life. I have, and, I have to live my life the way I'm living my life. And I don't got no problem with how you live your life. So don't have a problem with how I live my life. You can't force me to... To like what the fuck you do in your life, and I can't force you to like what the fuck I do in my life. And anybody I've I've come in so, contact with in person has always said, just leave the kids out of it. Yeah. No matter where, where they stand on the topics, just leave the kids out of it. Like, you don't need to be taking this to elementary schools right. or really even middle schools, but definitely not elementary schools. Yeah, that's like, the leave same. Leave it out of the schools. That's the same thing as, like, um, when women make the rap song. Or it's not even really just women. It's like... You know, the sexual songs, like, you wouldn't want that to play on the radio because kids listen to it, and it's like, why are you making these types of songs where kids can hear it, and then they can play it over and over again, and then they'll learn the lyrics and not know what the lyrics mean. And that's even harder nowadays because you got Pandora, you got YouTube, you got all, like, you can't just say, nope, you're not allowed to listen to that radio station, you know, because they play. I mean, but but guys been doing that for. Ever, but I'm yeah. saying it's, it's the same. It's I hear, the same I hear what you're saying, but that's where the parents have to step in and actually be a parent and, right. and parent their children and right. say, you know, you're either you're limited to the time or the screening time where you're. I want to put um, what are they um, like blocks on where they can't get into certain programs or mm-hmm. whatever. Like you're gonna actually have to be a parent to keep your kids from hearing certain things or watching certain things. Uh, every everything net from Netflix to Pandora to YouTube, everything has where you can go in there and say my kid can't watch these things or hear these things or whatever. But yeah. a lot of parents don't want to take the time. And guess to what, guys? It. We lead with love. We have no hate towards anybody LGBTQ+, plus, whatever the fuck, AI+, plus, whatever the Just fuck he said. You, you know what I'm saying? Do, do your thing. Everybody do their thing. You know what I'm saying? That's it. There is no them and us. It's every, we're all in this bullshit together. So. We're all in this. I don't. I don't know why people don't uh, latch on to this shit more because they put it right in your motherfucking face, and we do everything we can to just follow what the fuck they said. We're united we stand, divided we fall. Like they plain and simple, you know, like quote of America. You know what I mean? They're telling you like if you stand together and band together and be as one, you will not get taken mm-hmm. advantage of. But as soon as they start splinter selling everything and fucking dividing everybody up into their own little sections or whatever the fuck, you start fracturing the country, and the, and then we become weak. You know what I mean? That's how teams lose. Like exactly, they start being like, like if it's like football or something. Like Dak Prescott like, got called a bitch. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's like football, like or kind of yeah. like you you take out uh, one of the guys on their field that's very valuable and an asset on their team. And then like the team starts to break up and you keep taking players from them a little bit more at a time. And then eventually you just got nobody on that team. Like, or you, you pin know, you pin two of the stars together, like two of the bigger players or whatever you pin them against each other. And if they don't like each other, they're going to start to divide the team. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exactly All like kinds that. of stuff can happen like that, but that's crazy. But, but yeah. you got to have that mental, that mental to be strong enough to, yeah, lock arms. Uh, yeah, but I, you know, and in, in, in the same breath, I'm telling Neo like, congratulations, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Staying you stood up, team. you stood up, and you stood on your shit. If that's what you feel, that's what you mean. Do that. You know what I'm saying? And you're you're somebody of no notoriety, popularity, uh, uh, you, you know, of status. You got a following. You're you're uh, rich. You know what I mean? You, you're talented, and you're coming out and saying, "This is how I feel." And fuck it if you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but fuck it if you don't like it. You know what I mean? I also think that's, that's hard. kind of what divides people, too, is the own opinion. Like, sometimes you can't have your own opinion, but, like, we're not going to get anywhere if everyone's like, my own opinion is such and such. We need to have some, like, each side needs to give leeway for each other and then just – me in the middle where yeah. everyone's like kind of cool with it. You give know? your understanding. Uh, I mean, give you, give your opinion, but still give your understanding as well. Mm. Take, because you can take something from what somebody says 
even if you find a small piece and you don't agree with the rest, mm-hmm. you can find a common ground in any conversation and, you know what I'm saying, move forward from there. Or, or like I said, just agree to disagree. Like, right. all right, we're just, we're not going to see it, but it's okay. We're still friends. Yeah, and we're still th- cool. the first step to acknowledging that is knowing what the problems are, yeah. just listening the problems out, and then that's how we pursue the situations. Because sometimes you know? we're just not going to agree. Like, he how- thinks Whataburger is trash now, and trash. I don't. <laughs> in and so, out. Let's go in and out. So we're just going to agree to disagree. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> how- I'm not so sold on in and out but I'm just saying, Whataburger is trash. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, I know my facts, he knows his facts, and we just don't agree on that topic. Nah, fuck yeah. you. Your but facts okay. are, are whack. <laughs> how do you answer a problem without a question? You're just going to have a whole bunch of answer choices and no question. It's going to be like 12,000 feet, 4,000 feet. But like, what question am I answering? Is the earth flat? And that's been another 4, episode of square five. feet. <laughs> <laughs> so your boy 6'9 got arrested, huh? My mm. boy, huh? Speed. Doing it race. You that is stupid, bro. You know you're on... Um, parole, but yeah, parole. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Um, like, why do that? That's that reminds me when he said on Impulsive a long time ago when uh, he was talking about uh, Meek Mill doing the dirt bike in the street, and then he got on Bond or whatever. He was clowning on him. Yeah, like a hell. Yeah, this is the same stupid. That shit. is so hypocritical. The same <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> But he got basically. He got out like the next day, I believe. But yeah, he had a bond out. But yeah. Wow. They didn't uh, revoke him or what is it? Revoke? Revoke him? Nah, they gonna come see him though. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. <laughs> We're gonna check that bomb hole. <laughs> I had seen it. Uh, I was trying to find it again, but I think it was like a hundred and thirty or a hundred and eighty-five, some shit like that. I think you said one hundred thirty-five and an eighty-five. Oh, and an eighty-five. Yeah. No. One thirty-five and an eighty-five is what you had said earlier. Yeah. 80, 85 is crazy. Where are they fucking, where, where they got uh, 85 they, they speed just, limits? They just posted that uh, in, hold on. Yeah, that is ridiculous. I'd be seeing it like 70. Yeah, 75. <laughs> 80 is the most I've seen. I guess. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I guess. I guess Somewhere right there. Not, not that bad. Wasn't it like that in Albuquerque or is it 80? 80. Uh, well, maybe okay. it was okay, 85 on the, on the, on the newly so. open stretch of state highway 130 from Austin to Seguin. It has an 85 um, mile okay, per hour speed limit. That's the fastest in the country. Um, he was released after posting $2,000 bills. Arrested. Uh, they arrested him from three tickets Takashi received after he was being pulled over uh, by police in June for driving over the speed limit. According to the documents, Takashi was going 135 in a 65 zone mm. on Florida Turnpike. That's over double. Oh, Swing. so he, he got tickets. He got tickets for this shit, and then it was like a failure to appear. Mm. And so he had warrants, and, and then that's where they picked him up for that shit. Idiot, you could have easily. Idiot, You could have easily dodged that. I like that. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Such a moron. A moron. <laughs> what are you thinking, bro? <laughs> moron. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> I think that was the same thing with uh, uh, TK. Bro, what's up with her, bro? She's alive now? <laughs> oh, I said TK, like the race. Oh, oh. Yeah, L- we can Lil talk Tay, about Lil Tay. Lil Tay. <laughs> What's up? She she's alive now. She's back from the dead. I called it though. I called it though because I told uh, Gabby two times when I saw it. I was like, the biggest the first flexor. thought, the first thought that popped in my head when I read that she died or whatever, and I read the letter too. But after I read it, I was like, oh, that's probably fake. Like mm. she probably faked her death. But then I was like, why would she do that? I don't know because she wasn't relevant and like. Not relevant anymore. Nobody really talks about her. No, no, no. But the more we are talking about right now, so the more and more I was talking, uh, the little Asian girl you didn't see her like she was like I'm the youngest flexor. I'm the youngest the flexor century. of the century, and she was like in all these big houses, like badass cars. She was holding up money and shit. And uh, she, she was probably, on the internet yeah. a lot. Anyways, she was a part <laughs> of the culture weirdo. at that time. Uncultured swine. <laughs> exactly. You just like your brother. Bro. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
How you don't know what's going on in the world, bro? Lose us. Because no, I'm in my own world. Oh, just Speaking just of uh, more important shit, you know what I'm saying? Lil Tay is not dead, so we're off that. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. We're we're off that. Anyways, so Hawaii is completely on fire. <laughs> what the fuck? Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah. The nicest place in the planet. Bro, they got, what, every like five fires going on or something. All right the now? islands are on fire. Oh, don't they have a volcano though? Yeah, they have a volcano, but oh, th- this is like sucks. wildfires, and they had like super high winds or whatever. Oh, you were screwed then, because there's a <laughs> volcano right there. It's heating the place up already, so now you got the sun burning. Like, yeah. that's GG's in the chat. Yeah. So <laughs> apparently, one of the <laughs> islands is completely like Done. wiped out, wow. and uh, yeah, a bunch of people died and stuff. So I don't know how Prayers this for like. Yeah, for sure. You would think the sun would make the volcano erupt, right? It would boil it more? <laughs> no. I don't know. How do volcanoes erupt? I don't think that works. Probably like earthquakes or Pressure, something? Pressure, time? I don't know. Let's see. What makes a volcano erupt? Is that what we're... Death yeah. toll from uh, Maui wildfires uh, rise to 67. Thousand? No, 67 people. Magma uh, Mimo. Magma Mimo. <laughs> 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 oh, good callback. <laughs> <laughs> when enough magma builds up in the magma chamber, it forces its way up to the surface and erupts. That's that's the process of erupting, <laughs> but what causes the eruption? The magma buildup. So it just builds this up. This is something you should have learned Ooh. in science class. You're not in high school anymore. Google that shit. Brother, I probably learned that as a freshman and, or eighth grade. No. no. I, I don't remember learning this in school. Yeah, some well, shit from they the, didn't have... I mean, they had a lot of textbooks, but... The shit from the depths of the hell. <laughs> the core of the earth is spewing through the top to create new land. But back then, did they have enough information? As so it's the did? gas that the gets top. trapped hey, into yo. the magma that builds the pressure that... Oh, you want to keep going? Or, like, I don't mm. understand. It says, if a, if a lot of gas is trapped hey, within the yo. magma, pressure will build and build until eventually the magma erupts explosively hey, out of the volcano. Hey, yo! <laughs> the sun? It sounds like a one-night stand. The su- <laughs> <laughs> pressure builds until it blows up at the top of the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Texas has the highest speed limit. 85. In, a, in, in the in United the country, States? In the, yeah, in the country. 85. Huh? 85. And that's why Texas is We need that spot. here. It's in, well, it's in Austin. From Austin to wherever, Seguin or whatever it said. I don't give a fuck about Austin. Austin, Austin well, 360 trying to hurry up and get the says, fuck out of Austin so they had to up the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Nate Diaz lost his uh, boxing match with... Jake Pizzall, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jake Paul. You know what I mean? We've seen it coming, but we obviously did not see how it played out. He did a whole lot better than I thought he would. I thought he was going to get knocked out. Even put Nate Diaz through the ring, like, you know what I mean? But it actually, like, excited Nate, though. (laughs) Not through the (laughs) ring. Fuck out of here. He said, it did excite him. Afterwards, he was like. Because he saw how much, they said he made. As much money in this one match that he did his whole, like, UFC career? Yeah, I don't know about that one, though. Because he, well, he fought, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, 20 years, I guess, in the UFC. I'm not, I'm not. Well, this is, I want to say it was Nate that was saying that. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> it, may, it may not have surpassed it, but it was too close to say, like, this one match, like, so th- it th- excited th- him. I think they said he made more than whenever he fought Connor. I think that was the thing. Oh, yeah, because Connor was big back then. But um, yeah. because he's offering them ten million dollars to fight him in the cage, you know what I'm saying? So if if that made under ten million dollars, the fight with Jake Paul made yeah. under ten million. No, I'm saying if it did make under ten million dollars for him, then like, no, nah, I think it easily made like I more. Not too sure. Not yeah, statistics I ain't, I ain't, guy, but it hasn't even came out yet. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even say really pay per view pay per view buys or anything. Like I mean, you can like they'll give you how a, much did Nate Diaz make for the Jake Paul fight? They'll give you like a rough estimate. Five hundred thousand dollars is definitely. Oh, hold on, while Diaz is believed to have won that, 
What? It says that's what he would have made. While the numbers aren't confirmed, Paul reportedly brought home an estimated $2 million from the fight, while Diaz believed to have won a guaranteed 500000 You think that he only made 500000 in his old career in the yeah. UFC? Okay. There we go. <laughs> he's, li- he's living in that little uh, Shrek house. It says he made between fifteen and $20 million through his- throughout his UFC career, but reportedly made a lot more than that in his only fight with Paul. In the Lone Star State, but I think they're saying like because of the what sponsorships were the numbers and all of and that. Nate Diaz versus Jake Paul. Why do y'all stop talking? Uh, I thought I thought you she was gonna talk. Like yours likes to talk. If we um, were talking, no more. <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, it. But what I was reading the original article, I was reading it was saying that Nate it excited him because he was like, hell yeah, I want to keep doing this because uh, I can make no. way more money doing this than in the UFC. So. <laughs> He seemed like he wanted to keep doing the boxing thing. So, I don't know. 850,000 pay-per-view buys. Wow. But that's how many. How Like, because, uh, dang, what fight was it? He said one of them fights was like he put $50 per seat. I think it was uh, Anderson Silva, I believe. But that fight, he generated a lot. So I don't know how many he put per seat for that fight. I mean, if you say ten, ten dollars, and they had a sold out uh, arena for real. Yeah, That's they crazy. Had, they asked Nate like, "How do you feel about selling out an arena uh, on your fight?" And the UFC had a fight the same night, and they didn't sell out. <laughs> he was like, uh, "Shout out to the UFC." <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Dana White still being like, you know, he's a, he. What did he say? He said he he was a Hall of Famer legend in the UFC, so he's always welcome home. I don't know about giving him a fight, but he's a legendary fighter. He's welcome back anytime. It's like so you're not gonna give him <laughs> so no more fights. So you are, or you're not gonna bring him back. <laughs> Mixed signals. You're... This thing says while the pay per view buys um, for the. For the card are not public yet. The event generated over five point six seven million in gated yeah, so. in gated revenue. So we're just getting random, know. and numbers. that's more than um, the the um, Tyrone Woodley sold because they they had five hundred thousand pay per view sold. Tyrone. Tyrone. What did I say? <laughs> Tyrone. Oh, Wait, you better which call fight, which fight Tyrone. Call? That's what it looks like. Call him. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, five, like maybe five he needs million, to call him back is what I'm saying. Five million, and then you did eight hundred, maybe eight hundred. Reportedly, eight hundred fifty thousand pay per views is a lot, bro. That's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. That's a lot. But that's, that's a lot I'm because saying. I want to say uh, Errol Spence and fucking Crawford did like seven hundred thousand. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's five mil though, because it that's like how many people bought the pay per view, right? Yes. No, no, no. The five million is for the seats, like sold out arena. Okay. Oh, yeah. gate, yeah, gate revenue. Oh, okay. that's crazy. Yeah. So that's just he he gets a split of that. So, and then sponsorships, everything else. So yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's maybe a dumb load of money. Maybe he made like ten million dollars. Yeah, know. that's you know what I'm saying because he could have easily made at least two million. million. Two million, two point uh, five. You and know what I'm saying? If I in him, his UFC career he made fifteen to twenty million dollars, but in one fight he makes ten million. Man, do Wait. two of those and you've surpassed your um, UFC fight. Only two mil? Yeah. But, like, okay, so, like, pay-per-view buys is what you watch on TV, right? hmm So, he's not going to sell it for, like, $5. He's going to sell it for, like, They're 45 10. No, they're, what? They're, like, 80 <laughs> Oh, is it the high now? $80 for, for pay-per-view? So, then you multiply that by that... Huge number, the eight hundred thousand. Yeah, let's, but I mean, let's see numbers, guy. If it's eighty dollars time, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It gotta be way more than just. How much was million. the pay per view for uh, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz? Six, sixty-eight million. It was fifty-nine dollars. Oh. so sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. Sixty-eight <laughs> million is crazy. <laughs> but then you still got to split because uh, the zone and ESPN were partners. Fifty-one. Fifty-one what, million. Mm-hmm. So ESPN and the Zone were both partners. So fifty-one million, and then the five million gate. Fifty-six, uh, roughly. And then Jay Paul got two million guaranteed. So eight, 
and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nate got half a million, and then whatever, whatever it was in uh, sponsorship money, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a couple more million, two more million. At least because you know they were saying, look, look at it like this: like every name that you see. So let's on just say the... sixty million dollars in total. You know what I'm saying? And then, but you still got to bust that down because you still paid the undercard, all that other shit. Your trainers. <laughs> yeah, you know, but they, but. You know, it's still the lion's share, and he could leave out that hole with, like, 20 mil at least. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, on the so, low end, easily. And I'm thinking he had to make that – he had to have made that comment because he's already done, like, some soft math and thinking, like, if all this pays out the way it was supposed to, then I would have made more in my more tonight than I would in my UFC fight or yeah. career. And see, so he only got 500000 uh, guaranteed on this one. Jake is talking – 10 million guaranteed to fight in the cage mm. plus everything else. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So I mean, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? Why not? Hell yeah. <laughs> you have to make and you that. know, Nate, they going to be like, I don't give a fuck. But, like, but that's what they were laughing when they asked her. So are you going to accept that? He was like, well, we'll talk. He was like, but <laughs> he looked at his boy. <laughs> they started laughing. And he was like, it's going to be way more than $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who, bro? That fight would make, bro, dumb money. Hell like yeah. a Paul brother to fight in the UFC. Finally, nobody, not not UFC. They're gonna fight in PFL, probably. Well, I mean, you go. I mean, da- MMA, unless Dana MMA. just gets out of his own ego, out of his own way, and says fuck it, and brings brings, bro, this that would fucking break records. Yeah. Why not? But he Dana would be proving this thing right, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you That's the only me. thing. You need me. But fuck it, bro. Like, it is what it is. If you're going to do Elon and you're going to do Zuckerberg, bro, <laughs> might as well bring Jake to Paul and let him get his ass kicked in UFC, right? And then, who? like, you don't want him to fight nobody else, uh, Nate Diaz, so just put him against that trash YouTuber, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but they ain't even paying Connor $10 million, bro. Ain't no way. It's not happening. Well, and then what card are they going to put Jake Paul on? What you mean? Like, what are like which UFC card are they going to put him on? Because they probably already got them already set, so he'll probably be, what, like... They should put him on the same, the Elon Yeah, uh, he said match. he need <laughs> Right. They said he needs, like, eight months to train for that shit, though. Mm-hmm. If, if it gets accepted. From the day that it gets accepted, he needs at least eight months to train. So, that's not until next year sometime. So. Probably next summer. Next, when right, is that? Right. When's Elon supposed to fight Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. <laughs> I don't know. They don't have a date. Mm. But Do you know these fools are talking about uh doing it in the Rome Coliseum? <laughs> Dana even went over there and had a meeting with uh the people who run the Roman Coliseum because they wanted to do it. That who's shit would be deny, fucking spectacle, who, who's bro. Who's gonna like, deny some billionaires? Are they gonna <laughs> are they gonna actually pull out some of like the old <laughs> the old time tools? That shit would be dope, but Nipple Nobody armor. can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the spikes. Get over here, Elon. <laughs> the stick with the spikes on it. Like yeah. the <laughs> they're they're going to have a battle trying to pick up the sword. I like. want to see them have, like, lions on the on the chains. Like, if you get too far this way, it's going to eat yeah. you. Damn it, this fucking hell is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> and that's been another episode of the motherfucking Porter Potty Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this shit to a friend. Get them to listen, man. Support. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? In advance. Sharing is caring. All that type of shit, man. Uh, make sure you give us a five star review on Spotify. We'll see y'all next time. Man. Hit the down. Recording stopped.